full steam ahead. My accident happened, uh, and it, it was it was the, the last in a long series of motorbike accidents. So I should have uh, I should have been watching. It was a paradox, really. I spent many years um, riding motorbikes as fast as I could make them go, and uh, and I loved that game. I loved the game of speed and and danger. Was certainly a bit of a speed freak, and even I could see that this was going to end in tears. And I thought, as a a sign of maturity, I would slow down buy a slower bike. I think I went from Ducatis, Italian sports bikes, to a flying armchair, a BMW. And uh, I thought, well, I'm safe now. I'm just going to enjoy uh, enjoy the later stages of your biking career. And um, ironically, uh, what was the worst accident I ever had happened when I was out with my then girlfriend and we were just driving slowly in the French Alps. And a lovely old French lady drove around a bend on the wrong side of the road and we had a head-on collision and I know nothing about that until I woke up three days later in intensive care not knowing if my then girlfriend was dead or alive and screaming my head off. That started 11 months in hospital, five operations, two years in a wheelchair and that was the start of perhaps the biggest route I've ever had to climb. Nice one, Andrew. Down, 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 mate. It's all armless fun, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing place, eh, Andrew? It's gorgeous, huh? That's gorgeous. Perfect at rock. I've tried lots of things, you know, with gris gris and da 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 da. The old ways are the best. It's what I've done for all my life. Go for it, mate. Here he is, Sir Andrew of the Walker, <laughs> showing us how it's done.
<laughs> how is it, Andrew? How is it? A buzzing. It's like the same feeling as topping out on El Cap. And I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> That's the theme for this route, isn't it? Dino for each move. Guys, guys, <laughs> you don't know what you've done. You don't know what you've done to my brain. Oh, you did it, mate. Well done. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> How has your life changed since the arrival of lovely Lumi and lovely Helmi? Yeah, well, I feel like the last person on the planet to discover the profoundly life-changing rewards of having children and uh, having spent a lot of time playing and doing things for me, 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 uh, it has completely changed my life. It's been uh, life reaffirming and uh, humbling and on an almost hourly basis, beautiful.